What's going on guys? It is Devo here. We have the May month rewards program probably dropping tomorrow. So I'm going to be showing you how you can make hundreds of thousands of stubs preparing for the drop. Alright, so everyone remembers the April month rewards program. The Byron Buxton was the head of it. You got that Vlad Jr., that Corbin Burns, that Otani. All those cards people really, really wanted. And I'm sure it's going to be the same for the May. Hopefully, Jesse Winker gets one of those cards. If he gets... If Jesse Winker gets a card, it'll be one of the best cards for a minute. I mean, his swing is so nice. He's going to have insane power. Just know that if he gets a card, this May Monthly Awards program is going to be really, really sought after. And everyone's going to want these cards. So I'm going to be showing you how you can take advantage of this, prepare for this, and make hundreds of thousands of stubs. All right, so I want to show you guys first is the marketplace. All right, we're going to go ahead, filter by tops now cards. And we're just going to take a look at what the April Awards program did to these cards. So we're going to come over to the first page just like the first couple cards that actually dropped and these were the cards you needed for the april program and as you can see these prices have still not went down we'll take a look at tower stevenson for example marketplace he got upwards of 10,000 stubs and he stayed at that for days after the program once the program dropped i believe he was up to at least 10,000 maybe that's a max for a gold i'm not really sure but he was up to 10,000 if 10,000 max he was definitely up there okay we'll take a look at mickey maniac for him as well his buy now right now is 9100 and the program was over a month ago. He got up to 10,000. Ty France, where are you? Uh, he got up to he got up to 10,990. So it seems like the max for a gold isn't 10,000. We're gonna take a look real quick. I'm gonna just go ahead, try and find a gold I can list, and just see what the max is. Do I have any golds? I gotta have a gold in here. I gotta have a gold in here. Where is right here? David Fletcher. All right, perfect. We're gonna go ahead, view in market and. I think we can go ahead and put up a buy order, right? Yeah, we'll put up a buy, no, sell order. I don't even know what I'm saying. We're gonna put up a sell order, let's say 20, let's say 10,000 stubs right here. And it worked for 10,000. So we're gonna try and go ahead of 10,000. We'll try and up it up some more. We'll say 15,000. Can a gold get up to 15K? It can get up to 15K, okay. So a gold can get up to 15K, maybe the max is 25, I'd say. Maybe the max is 25,000 stubs. There we go. All right, so it can get up to 25,000. So I think that's probably the max, which just shows you that these gold cards, 25,000 is probably the max. Here, we'll go ahead, just check out above 25,000. I don't think you can. Uh, yes, 25,000. There you go. So 25,000 is the most for gold. And you can see some of these golds. I think for this May program, you're going to find them going up upwards of 10, 12, 15,000 stubs. And I know it happened with April as well. And as a matter of fact, I remember, I remember one. Once April awards drop, you saw these tops now cards get upwards of 12 to 15k as a gold. The diamonds got upwards of 15k, but it seems like the golds were around the same price as the diamonds for some reason. And when it comes to the May program that's about to drop, there's not as many golds to invest in, alright? There are, take a look here, Travis Shaw. April 26th to May 2nd, so this should count for the May program, May 2nd, yeah, this will count for the May program, anywhere that's, anyone that's around 30, 3,000 to 3,000 to around 3,700, those are probably the ones that count for this collection that you're going to need, let's take a look, if you're, if you're ever curious, just go to locations, and make sure it says, for the moment set, make sure it says May, as you can see, Nate Lau, April 1st, that's not going to count, okay, you remember Mercedes, April 1st, not going to count, Kiba Ruiz, May 3rd, that will count. So you're going to find these golds going for 3200 And just my thoughts on this, I'm going to empty the bank on them. I'm going to empty the bank today, okay? I have 511,000 stubs, so I'm going all out on this, okay? All out. I'm, gonna, I'm putting all 500,000 stubs into this. I'm, I'm buying as many of these golds as I can because if I was to invest in diamonds, I don't think the profit I can make from the diamonds at all com compares to the golds because... Golds are half the price of these diamonds. Diamonds are around eight, ten thousand 10,000 stubs. The gold you can get for 3,200, 3,700. You, you can get two golds for the price of a diamond and the golds can go up to 10, 12, 15, maybe even 17,000 stubs. And that is just gonna be a huge, huge payout for you tomorrow. Some of you are probably wondering, well, if I don't have stubs, I can't really make stubs because you need the stubs to make the stubs with this method. Well, tomorrow I'll have another stub method going out for you guys. You will not need stubs to make the stubs in that one, all right? You can make 200 250,000 subs just by doing that it's gonna be really really good for you but if we take a look here at the April month rewards program just so you get an idea in this collection it went all the way up to it did not go up to the April 26th of May 2nd so there you go okay that Alex Kirilov 
that had the April 26th and the May 2nd, that will be used in the May program, as I expected, but I just wanted to make sure. So now we can go ahead and just take a look. Gonna be investing as many 3,000 stub cards as we can because we are fully expecting these golds to go up to 10,000. Hopefully they do, or else I am gonna be, I'm gonna lose a ton of stubs. So hopefully they go up, I'm expecting they do. There's no way they don't, okay? Even with the tops now packs in the program, they still went up. They still shot up completely last time. Everyone was worried. Everyone was worried about them not going to be able to go ahead and make uh, make stubs off the investments because they were worried if the packs were going to have, well, if the packs were going to be in that program. So even with the packs in that April program, you still saw the golds go up to 10,000 and up. You saw the silvers go up to 5,000 and up. And you saw, no, I think 5,000 is the max for silver actually. And, and you saw the diamonds go up to 15K. So as you can see here, now it's time. We're just going to sort by gold. So I'm not investing in the diamonds like I said. We'll go to 84 to 80 real quick. And we're just we're just finding cards that are in that are gonna be needed in the May. So Travis Shaw gonna be needed. We'll buy him. 37.51. There we go. Okay, and the the buy orders will go through eventually. Uh, don't expect a ton. Like they're not gonna be moving fast like that. Okay, it's not like live series cards. They're not getting pulled every second, but they're gonna be going eventually. And if you if you if you were gonna be needing some late minute investments, let's say you're seeing this an hour before and you don't have a lot of time to wait go ahead and do some buy nows if you want i do not recommend doing buy now so if you're seeing this invest now okay invest now because this is where the time this is you have the time to do so you have the time to wait for these buy orders to go through just make sure clearly there he's may trevor carnage there we go he's may as well yeah so like i was saying make sure you have the time to get the, get these buy orders going travis shaw completed there we go 3261 for him and worst case scenario when it comes to these cards and this is worst case right it's probably not going to happen okay these cards are going to shoot up but let's just say by some miracle they don't shoot up it's just you're acting like you're flipping these cards look at the margins on these cards gavin lux you flip this card you're making over 900 stubs a flip so worst case scenario if these cards are not going up in price which is not going to happen but we're just saying let's say it happens just flip the cards act like it's a long-term flip act like it's a one-day flip okay you bought the card one day you're holding on to it another and you're going to flip the next it's still 900 900 stubs of profit and i'm glad i have the stub count to take advantage of this right now and i'm sure most of you should and do okay, i've posted many many stub methods in the past few days past few weeks and you you gotta go ahead and if i post a stub method take advantage of it who doesn't like free stubs okay and i give you the best ways to go and make stubs that i know of at the time being tons of glitches have been going on i mean i'm not sure if the ball player glitch is still a thing i think so i haven't heard anything about it being patched but so if it's not patched and you don't have stubs then and you're not completed with all the ball players then you're doing something wrong all right i mean i'm not really focusing on too many of the cards like if i'm buying one that's 300 more let's say i'm buying the gavin lux he's 3600 but trevor arnotch is 3159 i'm gonna try and get more of these trevors obviously because he's cheaper but i'm not gonna just completely just go in on trevors because i don't want to wait that long i need these cards to go i have 466,000 more stubs to go through and so i need i need these orders moving i don't have a ton of time to wait because as you see they're moving pretty decent as you see once i see a trevor Arnold, i am deaf i'm saying that wrong probably who knows once i see a trevor go through i'm going right to it i'm going right to it because it's the cheapest one available and the more you have them the more profit you'll make okay the more as the amount of volume of golds that you have that's the more profit you're gonna make Alex girl if he's 3700 I'm gonna try and avoid him if I can um, Josh Fuentes 3600 I mean he's decently priced so he's he's a little high a little high 3600 I mean 3700 you don't want to spend more if you don't have to so these orders will go through though like I was saying you don't need them going through right away you have a day by the time you're seeing this video you have over a day to get these orders through so 24 hours there's no way these orders don't go through as long as you just keep on putting them in and worst case scenario you have to cancel a few cancel a few it's not that big of a deal but these orders are flying you're they're really really fast at the time being I didn't think they were gonna be this fast but they're fast. All right, Cooper Ruiz just sold, so we're gonna go ahead and do him again. Gavin Lux just sold. He's a little more expensive, but it's all good. Uh, who else? Who else is a good one? Seth Brown's decent. 3,500. We'll spend that on a card. And I'm not really gonna make you sit here and watch me put in buy orders. So I mean, we're just gonna put in a few more. Well, not a few more. We're gonna put in all the more buy orders off stream. So you, off stream, off camera. So you don't have to go ahead and sit here. I mean, it's boring. I know. Who who wants to watch me? 
keep on clicking buttons 31 7 like it's over and over again no one wants to see me put in buy orders so that's really all that's really all for this video i mean you really gotta take advantage of this if you have the stubs i hope you saw this video on tuesday or at, le or at least wednesday morning before the tops now not top now before the program drops many people are expecting the program to drop tomorrow so if it does I mean, I hope it does. Last time May dropped, I mean, last time April dropped, it was on a Wednesday, it was April 5th. No, May 5th, May 5th, what am I saying? It was on May 5th when it dropped, and it's gonna be June 2nd tomorrow, but it's also gonna be a Wednesday, which makes sense, because you have a new headliner dropping today, a new kitchen sink pack dropping today, the car's gonna be insane, might drop a gameplay later. I know I say that a lot, but that Rob Dibble looks dirty, Adam Dunn looks gross, we got a Pedro Martinez head on it looks gross, all those cards look good, might want to get some um, gameplay in with them, we got third inning program drop on Friday, so three new balls, it's going to be probably like 96 and 97 overalls, so you had the Outlighter being a 97, so I'd expect 96 overalls I'd say, I don't think we get up to 97s, I hope we don't get up to 97s, because that's, like, that's when you start like speeding up a little too quick, like relax the overalls a little bit i'd say i mean if you want to have a few 99s you do chipper jones alfonso Soriano, and david ortiz but i say 99 should not be available for a month or two maybe even maybe a month or two two and a half slow the game down a little bit especially because you want the game alive because we're entering summer you want people playing in the summer but expect 96 to 97 overalls maybe a 98 but i doubt that for the third inning program but like i said the third inning programs on friday we got new big content drop on tuesday which is today you got the headliner this new pack and you might go ahead and see it perfectly line up the may program dropping on wednesday so that's what i'm thinking that's what a lot of many other people are thinking as well so it all just lines up hopefully it lines up like that hopefully it works out like that hopefully we're seeing the monthly awards program dropping tomorrow that's all for today's video guys i hope you enjoyed take advantage of this please please take advantage of this okay once again worst case scenario if these flop worst case scenario which is like a one percent chance of happening just sell the cards, okay? Do sell, do sell orders. Don't sell now. Do sell orders. So you make, you even make stubs by doing this. Regardless, you're not gonna make seven thousand stubs. But I calculated earlier. Let's say I invested the five hundred thousand stubs. Okay, let's say I invested five hundred thousand stubs in these golds, which I'm doing. They go up to ten thousand stubs. That's like a profit of six thousand. I calculated it. I would have made eight hundred thousand stubs. That put me up to one point three million stubs tomorrow. So that's if the gold cards go up to ten k, which is what we're expecting. If they do. I'm going to get over the million hump for the first time this year. So we'll see about that. But that's all for today's video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, drop a like. Smash the like button. That helps the video grow and reach tons of more people. Comment anything you want to go ahead and comment. I'll get back to you. Whether you have questions about investing, drop predictions about the May monthly program. Let me know your cards. I think Jesse Winker is definitely going to get a card. Hopefully he does. And consider subscribing if you are new. We are on the road to 3,300 subscribers. So we are like 20 away time makes a video. I believe 20 away. So hopefully we hit that later. Now, I mean, tonight maybe, but most likely tomorrow. Not sure, but tomorrow I will have a video going over the fastest way to go ahead and get the whoever the boss is, whether, the Byron Buxton of May. The Byron Buxton of May, I'll have a video going over the fast way to get him 100%. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.